How to manifest the right way. Your affirmation 555 times and you will get your you'll get your manifestation. Speak this affirmation out loud a thousand times to get your manifest your desire. Drink water when foods with lemon grapes soda to get your desire. Lay upside down on the couch while chanting this mantra. Do this, do that, this technique, do that technique after technique after technique after te technique. We can constantly be bombarded with content on manifestation and law of attraction about manifesting your desires but sometimes we can forget to actually apply that information in our own lives hey beautiful beings welcome to the channel where we grow glow and expand our soul today let me know if you relate to this but do you get caught up in a rabbit hole of consuming so much manifestation content that and you start believing that there is some sort of right way or whatever you do personally is not right because you have to listen to others and the way did they did it work for them so it must be right it must be correct but that is not the case besties that is not the case so let's just take a nice big deep breath to calm down and let's take a small break from all of this from all this content shall we let me clarify that if you don't understand what i'm trying to say there is no right way to manifest okay there is no right way let's just think about all these people who have created this techniques who have shared all this information yes it worked for them but this is what worked for them personally and they figured out through their own application and, their, and through their own practice and interpretation and consistency discipline awareness that's what worked for them and i'm not saying that it can't work for you of course it can that's why they're sharing it that's why you are wanting to know because you want to apply this into your life but there's a point where we need to create a boundary and actually step back for a bit because we know this content is everywhere like especially if you follow these types of accounts i know i do the most now it's like it's the what consumes my feed mostly so i get i can get ca caught up with all these like success stories all these results all these techniques all these different ways of doing things but like as always, too much of something is not always as healthy. Even though it might be beneficial for our well-being, overall it is not that healthy to consume that much. And knowing that one technique will not work for everyone. It will not work the same for um, all. It truly depends on your style, what you've been through, and how you learn. Like think about in school, what makes you, what clicks with you? What, how do you learn the best? like visuals do you auto you do you need to see it written out do you need to actually do it do you need to hear it in what ways do you learn so think of it like clothes not all sizes fit you you like you want to wear something that you can breathe and not something that constricts your breathing so tight and not something that overtakes your form so yeah there's different clothes made by different people you know um pleasing your needs whatever so size you need but what if we can just take that piece of clothing we can perfectly tailor to your curves to your lengths to your widths whatever human body you are just curve it perfectly by yourself for yourself and i really want to emphasize this message for all you people who are over consuming this type of content which i'm kind of getting out of right now also that's why i wanted to make this video so you know and it's also for the type of people who this isn't new information for you like you already you're already in the game you're already aware that your thoughts create your reality but now you're just in that state of just consuming 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 this type of content so i just want to say right now it's time to integrate and apply this information that all of this information you collected and now you learned and now you you've mastered it okay you ma mastered this information and you're gonna apply it into your life so be really truly believe in yourself and think about what works for you reflect on what makes you feel the most amazing conscious creator think about the times where you manifest more easily more naturally more effortlessly and focus on expanding and strengthening that muscle to expand yourself and create your reality speak out loud is it when you act as if is it if you just think in your mind now is the perfect time to work on your self-concept and the way you view yourself when it comes to how your manifestations come to you how fast it comes to you how good you are at it how it works in your life how it shows up in your reality i made a video on that also recently talking about self-concept and it's just 
it's honestly so fun and exciting to know that you can create your reality. I mean, that's why we all tuned in into this thinking, into this mentality. And it's just fun and exciting to learn what people are doing, what works for them, what is uh, popping off for them, and how we can use that. But I'm going through this also, and right now, especially on Instagram, I also follow these um, accounts which constantly share about information on new techniques and new ways to manifest. And I just think it's so fun. It's so exciting. Like, people are so creative, and it's so nice to see how how what works for them and how they use it but i want you to come up with your own unique formula that works for you as well maybe you meditate with a crystal to visualize or maybe you dance in your room alone with the lights off on friday at 7 p.m to manifest your desire like whatever like a unique formula that you can use in your daily life and you just know that it's gonna make you feel the most happiest most fulfilled most joyful most empowered and most powerful what is it that will get you in the state of joy, bliss, playfulness, and in alignment with your desires? Like, do you need to look a certain way, wear certain things, eat a certain food? For example, Gem Goddess shared on her Instagram stories one time that she likes having grapes displayed in her house to because it reminds her of abundance. But I don't personally relate to that. Like, it's good for her. It works for her. That's unique to her. But for me, grapes are always there in my house. So I never viewed them that way, never perceived them that way. So I'm not going to mindlessly display grapes and i guess i don't know so i'm not gonna mindlessly display grapes and be like oh my god gem, work for gem god is like she put grapes in her house and that is good for abundance just it doesn't resonate with me so i'm not gonna take that in just because it worked for us i'm gonna think about what abundance what is abundance to me so to me for my home surroundings i would like to see cleanliness minimalism just clean free not too much stuff that is what i will focus on so you see, don't let yourself down or get hungover on what's right, what's wrong, what's going to work because there isn't one. And based on everyone's own experiences, life experiences, where they live, where they are, how they take in information, how they learn. And it just may resonate. Like some techniques may resonate at certain periods of times, at certain times, and some may not, even in your own lifetime. Some techniques, some methods may work much better, and when you're like some age and some may not, you're you're evolving. You're always growing, you're always evolving, you're always just being your best version, glowing up. So some things just might not work anymore, and you just have to continually um, reflect and learn what works for you it's all about being a conscious creator and just balancing learning and integrating it's just that that's all it is this pattern like of over consuming manifestation content kind of reminds me of school where we would just be like i guess essentially taught to just cram information in our brain just for, to complete a test and then as much as we can and, and but not really be able to apply it after the test or after we do it so it's important to actually integrate that information in our brain and learn it well learn it even if it you don't have to learn that much in order to be really good at it you can learn this most simplest thing but apply it in such a way that it works so beautifully for you that you don't need to you don't need that many in like uh items or different like music whatever affirmations you just have your own technique and it's just what it is so we're gonna break that school pattern about cramming information in our brain and we're gonna take that power back because forget school <laughs> no one is perfect though so do the best as you can i am with you guys right now so hopefully this video helped open a different perspective and what you're going through hopefully you relate to it hopefully it helped that's all thank you for watching hope to see you soon you are enough you deserve the best bye